While in Switzerland, an architect finds a way to maximize all that alpine light. We can perfect control the climate. Join us as we visit the world's greenest and most extraordinary homes on the planet. Next, we're going to one of the most beautiful and wealthy countries in the world, Switzerland. Nestled in the natural beauty of sparkling lakes and rolling hills, the innovative city of Zurich stands as a beacon for business, science, and culture. And of course, chocolate. And who can forget the majestic Swiss Alps? Comprising of almost 60% of the country's total area, they provide some of the best skiing and hiking trails in the world. On the doorstep of the Swiss Alps is the tiny village of Domat Ems, where curiosity leads to research and invention. Built in 1996, this 3,000 square foot home has four bedrooms and two bathrooms. The exterior is almost made completely of translucent glass. Inside, the open concept living, dining, and kitchen areas enjoy that amazing view. Out back, a 5,000 gallon lap pool. And on the roof, solar panels for electricity and hot water. The owner and architect has called it Solar House. This house has much more than only a green perspective. What is very important for me as architect is that it has an absolutely new aesthetics. Dieter and Marlies Schwartz and their blended family of five have taken a daring approach to green living. It's very personal. An architect makes his soul transparent. It shows more than like you think. It shows completely like you feel. This building was one of the first zero emission building in Europe. Every time I come down the street and I see this house, it's like a small, little, tiny, shiny princess. Hello, Marlies. Dieter. Hello. How you are must you? be John. I am. Hello. Coming up here, you could think this is a greenhouse inside, just because it's so unique. This house is so translucent and very, very charming. Even I like to clean it. The home's glass structure uses an innovative honeycomb layer designed to retain heat more efficiently than regular glass. To control the solar gains, you need to store them. For this, you need very heavy materials, and concrete is the most heavy construction material. The concrete walls are key for keeping the house comfortable. With this technique, we can perfect control the climate. The fully automated lines are part of that control system, working to retain energy. Equipped with efficient appliances, stainless steel countertops, and sleek wood cabinets, the kitchen blends perfectly with the home's modern decor. Why did you choose uh, maple for your cabinetry? Maple gives us the very beautiful contrast to the concrete, and it makes the room very bright because maple is one of the brightest colored trees. The kitchen also includes a useful energy-saving element. The water is completely heated by solar gains. We have a solar collector on the roof. The command base controlling most of the home's eco features can be found in the basement. So all your technology is down there that controls your solar panels, uh, the heating system, everything. Exactly. Also the storage, the water storage from the collector, the heating pump for the heat water, the ventilator for the fresh air. The fully automated approach has proven to be the best sustainable option. So this means that we can give the electricity back to the net and we have no energy bill. Coming up, the challenges of an open concept design. Here you've got young kids running around. I mean, how do you have the, uh, the private moments? We're at the foot of the Swiss Alps exploring architect Dieter Schwartz's glass home. Upstairs, the loft-style master bedroom sports the same solar passive design as the rest of the home. Thick, heat-storing concrete walls and floor-to-ceiling translucent windows. It's the way I like to live, with this open space. But Dieter, you've got young kids running around. I mean, how do you have the, uh, the private moments? We discussed this point. Uh, we have the problem to separate the living room, but we decided we prefer this open space. Privacy is not the only point of view. Because so we don't have sex, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> Time to move on. One thing they do have is a pool. Wow, really? 
which uses filtered water collected from the roof. We have natural elements like the concrete, like the water, and I think this is also a philosophic part of the sustainable design. You drive by this place, you've got the solid glass panels, you would never know there was a garage there. Yes, this is the idea, this is a little bit the philosophy of the whole building, that we don't demonstrate technique. I think it's very important in our time that we realize the true elements. For example, sun is a very important element, water is the other one, concrete, a stone is another one. And we, as architects, try to bring them together to a new lifestyle. In every way, Marley's and Dieter's solar house reflects their commitment to sustainable living and original, innovative design. Can we have a glass of champagne? Can yes, we have a glass? Yeah. Where have you been? We've been waiting. We like very much good wine. Yes, I've it's seen. It's also a part of lifestyle. Yeah. Stored solar energy to fine wine. Okay. Whoa. Cheers. 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 The space is very open. Not much privacy going on here. How do people react to this? Um, they, they just don't ask. You're the first. <laughs> I'm the first to ask about your, the most intimate moments that you guys have, and it's all on display? Yeah. They, I, I mean, they look at it and they think they're things, but they don't ask <laughs> and they don't talk. <laughs>